So, you want to learn how to make black boxes. Today, I'm going to show you how to do just that. This video is more about how to do it inside embeds. But if you don't know how to do it at all, then I'll show you that as well. And then we'll move on to the embed builder and we'll make it in there. Bear in mind it will look different as a normal message and in an embed. And if you're on mobile and you use iOS, for me these black boxes won't actually appear. So I'm afraid this is only for PC. I don't know about uh, Android or anything else. Feel free to let us know if it works. But without making this intro any more longer, that doesn't make sense. Without making this intro any longer, let's get straight into it. So we'll start by just making the box in a normal message. So what you want to do is you want to find this symbol here. If you don't know what this is, I think it's called grave or something like that. It looks like a backwards apostrophe. It might be on the left of your one key and above tab. That's what it is for me. If you can't find it, then I recommend you search it up for your keyboard layout. Maybe someone in the comments can post it and you can just copy it. So what you want to do is type three of these and then whatever text you want. So I'm just going to type text because why not? And you're going to want to type another three after that. So three of these symbols before and three after and then send that. I don't do like I just did. Make sure you go to the end of the message. Otherwise it would just split it like this or something and then send it. And there you go, it looks like this. Now this will look a bit different when you put it in embed. So let's get onto that right now. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Carlbot, but if you use something like Disco Hook, that will be fine as well. Any embed builder you have should do this. It's not like a bot specific trick or anything. You just need to be able to make an embed. So if you don't know how to do that, this is not the tutorial for you. I recommend you search up how to make an embed first, but I'm gonna assume you have some knowledge in how to do that. So let's pretend this is my title here. So example title and then description just to have that there. And you're going to want to add a field. And then you're going to want to head to this one here, which is the description for the field. And that's where we're going to type those three symbols with our text. Uh, I'm going to type markdown because I think that's what it's called. And that with another three. Now with Corobot, it will come up with this here. It will for some reason put it in pink. I don't know why. It does not look like that when you send it. Now I'm going to put in an example title here. But we're going to come back to this title because there's something I want to do with it. So for now, let's just send it. So I'm going to send it to the long box channel. There you go. This is what it looks like. Now, obviously, it's quite a bit different to this here when we send it in a normal message because for one, the box is darker and it only goes to the edge of the embed. So that's how you do it. But I'm going to show you how to get rid of this here. That's right. You can get rid of this. So the reason I put this in a field description is because if you type this in the header title and send it, it will look quite a bit different. It kind of looks like another type of markdown just in bold. But that's not what we want. So we're going to have to put it in the field. So that's why I put it in the field description. And that's why you want to put it there. Now to get rid of this title here, we're not technically going to get rid of it. We're just going to hide it. So like in 50 million of my other videos, we're going to use this invisible character. And you'll find that in the description below. Look for something that says invisible character. And it should be in between some arrows. And paste it in here. Let's send it. And here we go. So yes, the reason I got rid of this is because I want this to act as the title. It is in the description, but it looks like the title. That's just a workaround because we cannot actually put it in the official title of the field. So we have to use this invisible character here, which if you highlight here, you can see it's still there. So while this doesn't get rid of the title, and it does leave a space here, which I think looks better than just not having the space, it creates the illusion that we got rid of it. And as I said, if you're using a different embed builder, if you don't use Carbot like I did, which is just for this video, because that's the one I've used before in my videos, I, I want to keep it consistent. If you use a different embed builder, then it should be the exact same. As long as you know how the embed builder works, you'll definitely be able to achieve the same effect. So that's how we do that. So I made this video because a lot of people have asked me how I make this. Even if you know how to do it in a normal message, you might be confused because it does look different in an embed. Just to make it clear one more time, remember you want to put this text here with the three symbols before and three after. You want to put this in the description of the field. You cannot put it in the title because it will look different, at least on PC. So that's why we use the invisible space to get rid of the title. Obviously you don't have to get rid of the title, that's just how I prefer it. So if you add a title here, this is what it would look like. But because I want this to be the title, I don't need another one up here. So there you go, that's how you make this extremely long box in an embed and how to do it in a normal message as well, in case you were wondering. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. I know a lot of people know how to do this, but a lot don't as well, so that's why I made this video, in case you don't know how to do that. I really like it, I use it in some titles like this here, because it's so dark compared to the embed background, it really separates the embed nicely, so if you're wondering when to use it, I would just use it as a replacement for the embed title. It looks much nicer in my opinion. So that's it for this video, until next time, I'll see you then. My Discord server course is now 40% off, and we are the fastest plug I've ever done.